Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Richie from Boston. Today's the 1st of November, 2017. And I already made this video earlier, and it was about 11 minutes long, and it didn't come out. So I'm doing it again. And it's been a long time coming. And this is a video a lot of you guys have asked me for. Now, if you follow my channel, you probably just saw the video that I mirrored from Barhug Roughhauser or Builder Rejected's YouTube channel about gang stalking and electronic harassment. Now, I was listening to the guy who's a whistleblower, and he was explaining it. You know, he's saying people are getting abducted and taken to Seattle. I don't know about that. But in this day and age, I, I don't know. Who knows? I haven't been there. I can't speak on it. So there's that. If you follow me, you probably follow Nicholson1968. And he put a video out yesterday. And at the very tail end of it, he said something that a lot of us have been waiting to say for a long time. And it's about being a targeted individual. So how's that? I never talk about it because I never wanted to give the people the satisfaction to know that their techniques or whatever they were doing were working. But about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, myself and Erin Elizabeth were exclusively, or not exclusively, we were covering the murders and disappearances of holistic doc doctors that just kept happening left and right. Well, Erin put a video up, and you can still see it, where her cell phone started telling her things like it was going to give her cancer and it was going to kill her and so forth and so on. Someone was hacking her phone and it was messing with her. So there's that. But what was happening to me is in the middle of the night, at the exact same time, every time I would wake up and my entire body would be vibrating, like there was electricity going through it. My heart would be racing, so forth and so on. And certain other times, my skin would become hot, hot to the touch, like somebody was holding a magnifying glass on it with, under the sun. That's electronic harassment. That is telling you to shut up, basically. And I get it, because I cover a lot of stuff. I cover a lot of stuff. I've covered Israel. I've pretty much covered everything. There isn't anything I haven't hit on. I don't really have any taboos, so there's that. Whether I do it knowingly or not, you know, I got a big mouth, so I just say stuff, and sometimes I get in trouble, so there's that. Nicholson mentioned it. A lot of channels that you guys have followed, like, they'll suddenly pull the plug, and people will say, Richie, where'd this guy go? Well, you don't understand. When you put yourself out there, they make themselves known, and that's just all there is to it. Think what you want. I don't care. I've looked up targeted individuals before, and you watch the videos, and these people look like raving lunatics. But if you were being messed with by something you can't see, you'd probably be raving too. Why am I talking about it now? Because about two years ago, I started talking about the full armor of God. Full armor of God. Full armor of God. And I tell you guys all the time that I'm a terrible Christian. Because I do a lot of stuff that I know I'm not supposed to do. I don't do it as much as I used to, but still. But I ask for forgiveness. When we were kids, there was no such thing as sleep paralysis. But now we have sleep paralysis everywhere, right? And you can stop it by calling out the name of Jesus Christ. Well, it's the same thing with electronic harassment. The only problem is they'll put you into such a panicked state, especially when you're trying to sleep, that you won't be able to remember the Lord's Prayer. You won't be able to remember to say Jesus Christ. You won't be able to speak, which is why you need to completely look inside yourself and honestly ask for the full armor of God. And if God doesn't respond, you really need to look at yourself. And that's... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how else to say it, but it works for me. The sleep paralysis thing, I think that's just them messing with people with ELFs, extremely low frequencies, Gwen towers, cell phone towers. The reason they're spraying the atmosphere is so that they can run frequencies through it and target and control people. And I think the sleep paralysis thing came up, you know, doctors started talking about it. Because the military or the elites are doing it to us 
it's much like how suddenly adult allergies popped up out of nowhere when it never used to exist. It's not adult allergies. It's just that they're putting so much... Everything's genetically modified. All the water is completely unpure and unfit for human consumption, and the air is full of heavy metals. So what do they come up with? Well, adult allergies. You know what I'm saying? And people buy it hook, line, and sinker. If the doctor says it, if a scientist says it, if somebody on TV says it, it's all good to go. I think it's the same thing with sleep paralysis because it popped up out of nowhere. Now, people that think sleep paralysis is a demonic attack, well, to me, a demonic attack is the same thing as being hit with an electronic frequency weapon because they're pointing frequencies at you. I think that demons and everything else travel through electricity, which is why... I made the video about sigils and blueprints for electronics looking almost identical. You want to conjure up a spirit? Look at an electrical blueprint. It's almost the same. That's why they've got black mirrors, like the one I'm holding and looking at right now, the one you're looking at right now. The difference is I use this to spread the word and I protect myself from it with the full armor of God. That's why I talk about it all the time. I've gotten... Thousands, thousands and thousands of emails asking me to talk about this, and I didn't want to. These guys had me so afraid one night, probably about a year and a half, two years ago, where I showed up at Mrs. RFB's house in the middle of the night, 1.30 in the morning, scared to death to stay at my house because I felt like, I felt like there was an earthquake going on at my house so bad that I looked out my front door expecting to see all my neighbors standing outside, and they weren't. It was just me. They hit me so bad that I was so scared in the middle of the night, I jumped out of bed and tried to make it down the stairs, and I ended up breaking one of the toes on my foot. And I was so exhausted from the sleep deprivation, from the electronic harassment, that I went to sleep with a broken foot. Not even I, for, I mean, I slept sound. I was just so exhausted. I slept. I woke up. I forgot I even broke my toe till I stepped out of bed. I'm talking about it now because Nicholson came out. Barhug has come out. And I know there's thousands of you guys that feel alone. And if you look it up, you'll find people that just, they're going through all sorts of wacky stuff and they're going through all sorts of wacky remedies. The full armor of God. Hit your knees and pray like you've never prayed before. It worked for me, and I am no saint by any stretch of the imagination whatsoever at all. But when you do stuff like this, when you enter into the quote-unquote quote, truth community, even with all the backbiting, the jealousy, the he's got more subs, and why doesn't, why don't people, you know, all that crap, we're going against a thing that's trying to take over the entire world. Taking things out with electronic frequency, there's no, you can't see it. You can't feel it. You can't prove it. I shouldn't say you can't feel it, but you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a perfect setup. That's why we're surrounded with cell phone towers. That's why they're spraying the atmosphere every single day. Apparently, they have, according to whistleblowers, they have the ability to take out entire communities, make them hyper aggressive or make them incredibly passive does it look like americans are incredibly passive right now because it does to me i don't care if you don't if you don't believe in anything even as an, an average american look around they're taxing people to death they're poisoning everything every single day there's a new terror attack and it's all nonsensical bullshit this is insane But I guess the long, long story short is, yes, it's happened to me. It's happened to a lot of us. And that's why certain channels just fall out. Oh, YouTube took them down. Dude, I put up 15 videos about Vegas to the point where they put me on the news. And they never shut my channel down. Channels that are claiming to get shut down and locked out by YouTube are also channels that want you to go straight to their websites and pay them monthly to see the same old boring, rehashed, lame information. In my opinion, and I know, I know. 
I give people a shot on my channel because if they're getting silenced, I'll give them a voice. But it is what it is. At any rate, I hope this was helpful. Full armor of God. Email me if you got any questions. I am out.